When a newbie walks into an e-bike shop, he'll obviously choose an e-bike with sleek design, eye-catching style, and a such model that's easy to ride. But an enthusiast looks for which or what kind of drive system the bike has, because it's the key thing that directly affects a bike's performance, ride quality, and efficiency. And if you find some names that dominates the e-bike drive system industry, Bosch will pop up at the very first position. Since the beginning of the e-biking industry, Bosch has held the position as the biggest drive system manufacturer, especially for their quality, variation, and reliability. But recently, another giant name has entered the scene, DJI, a Chinese technology company best known for its drones and aerial photography systems. You could say they are the best drone company in the world. Surprisingly, at Eurobike 2024, this drone company introduced its all-new Avanox drive system for e-bikes. As expected, it got widespread praise and recognition. Some people even saying that Bosch is finally getting a tough competition. That's why today we're going to talk about both brands' drive systems and compare the specs written on paper. We picked the Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 4 system to keep aside the DJI Avanox drive system. So let's not waste any more time and see how they differ in terms of performance, modes, connectivity, and other features. So if we talk about DJI Avanox, it comes with a powerful 120 newton meter mid-drive motor that provides a continuous torque of 105 newton meter. For an average weighing e-bike, the torque is well enough. To have such a torque will give you consistent, strong push especially when dealing with steep hills or rough terrains. This system also boasts a peak power of 850 watts, which gives an extra boost when it's needed most. However, like all e-bike systems, the Avanox is regulated to a rated continuous output of 250 watts, which complies with electric bike laws. In contrast, the Bosch Performance Line CX offers slightly less torque at 85 newton meters. However, if you understand how torque works, you'll recognize that the fourth generation model will deliver performance very close to that of DJI. The CX Gen 4 system has a peak power of 600 watts, which gives you powerful acceleration while maintaining a compact size. What's impressive about Bosch is its riding support. This motor helps you reach up to 25 kilometers per hour, even on steep mountain climbs. It can also be paired with a combined battery setup of up to 11 and 25 watt hour. So you can enjoy long lasting rides without running out of juice. Like the DJI system, Bosch also complies with the 250 watt continuous output rule. While the torque and power figures may vary, you won't notice a significant difference in real world performance. Weight and handling are another talking point for drive systems. And if you see how DJI and Bosch stack up against each other, you'll find a slight difference, which even doesn't declare any winner. The DJI Avanox motor weighs about 2.52 kg, which makes it several hundred grams lighter than its direct competitors. This lightweight design helps the bike feel more nimble and easier to maneuver. Plus, the Avanox motor is impressively compact. Its small size allows bike manufacturers to create frames that resemble traditional bikes, which is a huge plus for riders who prefer that classic look. The compact nature of the Avanox also enables manufacturers to develop slimmer, more competitive bike frames. On the other hand, the Bosch Performance Line CX system weighs slightly more at 2.79 kilograms, but it's still lightweight enough to not weigh you down on trails. Bosch has managed to keep the motor compact and well-placed on the bike, so you can have a refined finish that doesn't get in the way of performance. When we look at adjustability, the Bosch Smart System really stands out. It provides a range of batteries, displays, and remotes that can be tailored to suit each rider's needs. However, one drawback is that Bosch doesn't support third-party components, meaning manufacturers must use only original Bosch parts. Both the DJI and Bosch systems do a great job of ensuring a smooth ride. The Bosch system offers a seamless assist that kicks in and out effortlessly, giving you a natural pedaling experience. This feature allows bikes with the Bosch Generation 4 motor to handle nicely and feel playful on the trails. Battery and charging. When we break down the charging and battery options for the DJI and Bosch drive systems to see how they compare, we found the Avanox system really stands out because of its Gayen fast charging technology. 
Its 800 watt hour battery can be charged from 0 to 75% in just about 1.5 hours. This quick charging is perfect for long trips since you can recharge during breaks. On the other hand, the Bosch system is reliable but not as fast. Charging time varies based on the battery capacity and charger used, but it generally takes a few hours to fully charge. Both systems have smart battery management features that help extend battery life, which is great for long-term use. When it comes to options, the Avinox system offers a choice between a 600 watt hour battery and an 800 watt hour battery. Meanwhile, the Bosch Performance Line CX can be paired with a battery setup of up to 1125 watt hours. The most common batteries for this system are the PowerTube 625 and PowerTube 750, which have capacities of 625 watt hour and 750 watt hour, respectively. If you're planning long backcountry adventures, Bosch also offers an optional 250 watt hour power more, 250 range extender to boost your battery capacity. Now, let's see what are the assist modes, or you can say support modes both of them offers. DJI Avinox comes with a five support modes, plus an option to ride without assistance. The main modes include Eco, Trail, and Turbo, which you can customize using an app. There's also a boost mode that you can activate by pressing the rocket button on the left remote. This boost mode gives you maximum power of 120 Newton meter and 1000 watts for 30 seconds. It's great for steep climbs. When boost mode is about to end, the system beeps to let you know, and you can activate it again for another 30 seconds if you need more power. However, to prevent overheating, the system will pause boost mode if it gets too hot, although we haven't found a way to trigger that yet. Lastly, there's an auto mode that adjusts assistance based on your riding situation, using a tilt sensor to know which gear you're in. And the Bosch system features four assist modes, which can change based on the bike manufacturer. Most EMTBs come with Eco, Tour Plus, EMTB, and Turbo modes. Bosch's dynamic modes, especially Tour Plus and EMTB, adapt to your riding conditions, so you don't need to switch modes constantly on longer rides. Tour Plus helps save battery life and is smoother for lighter riders, while EMTB mode provides more power. Depending on how hard you pedal, you can get between 140% and 340% assistance. If you like to customize your ride, the Bosch system lets you fine-tune the response of all the support modes. Well, we are almost done with those hefty numeric comparisons. Now we need to talk about some fancy things. So, the DJI Avinox has a 2-inch OLED display built into the top tube of the e-mountain bike, similar to the TQ system. What makes it special is that it uses a touchscreen and can take a SIM card, which allows for remote access and tracking of the bike. The display comes with a GPS sensor, gyro sensors, and a barometer, as well as connectivity options like Ant Plus and Bluetooth 5.1. This setup lets you track your rides accurately and save the information. DJI is known for making user-friendly apps, and this one is no exception. The dedicated app is easy to set up and transfer data. A unique feature of the DJI system is its two small remotes, one on each side of the handlebars. These remotes have a simple design and connect via Bluetooth. The left remote lets you change riding modes and activate the walk and boost functions, while the right remote controls the smart features and navigates the menu. Now, looking at the Bosch system, it has the smart system, which improves the drive system with new features. However, not all Bosch displays and remotes are made for serious trail riding. For downhill EMTBs, the best options are the Bosch system controller mounted on the top tube and the mini remote on the handlebars. These devices only show battery status and current support mode using simple LED lights, but they're easy to use and keep the bike looking clean. So, the Bosch Performance Line CX is priced around $850. This is considered a fair price for such a high quality system and it feels justified given its features. And when it comes to availability, there are notable differences between the two systems. The Bosch system has been on the market for a while, so it is widely available across many bike brands and models. On the other hand, the DJI Avinox system is newer and not as widely available yet. Currently, it's mainly found on the Amflow PL electric mountain bike. 
While this limits choices for now, it's exciting to think about the potential for this system to appear on more bikes in the future. To wrap up the battle, we can say that both the DJI Avanox and Bosch Performance Line CX Gen 4 offer great features for different types of riders. The DJI Avanox impresses with its advanced technology, customization options, and lightweight design. At the same time, Bosch gives you versatility and reliable performance. With a fair price and wide availability, Bosch gives you plenty of options. Ultimately, your choice will depend on your personal preferences and riding style. You can easily get a bike with Bosch's Gen 4 drive system, but DJI is probably going to take more time to make the Avanox available for everyone.